Hello friends, this video on p-block elements part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Next important compound called phosphine, that is PH3. This again, the gaseous form is phosphine, very important compound. This is prepared by the reaction of calcium phosphide with water or dilute acid. And that is my industry preparation. Talk about industry preparation. You use calcium phosphide and water. You get my COS2 and you get PS3. So instead of water, we can also use hydrochloric acid. So in this case, we get again CaCl2 and PH3. These uh, are impure phosphine actually. In the lab also, if you want, I'll tell you how to purify it. In the lab also, you can prepare this uh, phosphine. You get take this phosphorus, you take the sodium hydroxide, and you mix with uh, water, you get again PH3. And you get NaH2PO. That is sodium hypophosphite. And you have to, uh, I mean, this reaction should happen in inert carbon dioxide atmosphere correct right. this uh, sodium hydroxide should be concentrated and you get this you can write the balance reaction for this also I can write the balance reaction for you so this is how you prepare phosphine so why I am stressing a lot on this impure and pure uh, phosphine is if it is impure phosphine, you generally get the impure phosphine. Impure phosphine is actually inflammable. Right? But if you talk about the pure phosphine, it is non-inflammable. There's a huge difference. And this impure phosphine becomes inflammable due to my P2H4 or my phosphorus vapors. So we need to purify it. Purifying phosphine is a critical task because impure phosphine is my inflammable. It can catch fire. So to, pur to purify this uh, impure uh, phosphine, what we do is it is adsorbed in HI to form phosphonium iodide and which on treating with my potassium hydroxide it gives off phosphine back. So you uh, you have this pH3 you adsorb this in HI so what you get is pH4I. Now this pH4I you react with KOH you get Ki and H2O and pH3. This PS3 is my pure. So please uh, pay attention here. Whatever we get is impure. Typically from all this reaction, this is inflammable. It can catch fire easily. So it's mandatory that we make it pure. So for, to that, what we do is we adsorb. Please note we use adsorption here again. Adsorb. We adsorb this uh, PS3 in HI. It forms a, a compound called PH4I that is called phosphonium iodide. Let me write this. Phosphonium iodide. So this phosphonium iodide actually when you treat this with uh, potassium hydroxide it gives off phosphine back. This is a pure phosphine. To talk about the properties of this phosphine again it is a colorless gas. This gas you see, this is colorless gas, right? But it has smell, it has a rotten fish smell, it's a very bad smell. And this is poisonous, this is highly poisonous, actually. this is highly poisonous. And actually, uh, it explodes when it is in contact with some, see, typical. Uh, Pure PH3, I'll say, pure PH3 is non-inflammable. 
non inflammable but when this ph3 it comes in contact with uh, agents like my nitric acid or chlorine or bromine or even my p4 also it explodes it explodes very very dangerous these uh, one two three four five yeah so this uh, ph3 is uh, water soluble slightly slightly water soluble when you adsorb this uh, ps3 in copper sulfate or mercury chloride solution the phosphides are obtained for example i have copper sulfate i'm adsorbing this ps3 on it i get cu3 p2 and some sulfuric acid similarly if i have hgcl2 in this if i adsorb ps3 i get hg3 p2 and some sulfuric uh, hydrochloric acid I want to write the balance reaction. This is my balance reaction. Yes. And this phosphine is weakly basic. Basic. So if we, this CCPS3 will react with some acid, HBr, let's suppose, to form PH4Br. Okay. We talk about the properties of phosphine. One of the good important uh, property of phosphine is as used as smoke screens. The smoke screens are used by ships for signaling. For example, these ships and this are this is they're not on fire. They have used this uh, phosphine for signaling. So with this, uh, you can actually make out the nearby ship can make out that these ships are in trouble. Maybe their engine is not well or they have some communication problem so that the other ships can reach for help. So they are used for smoke screens, used for signaling in sea typically, also used during wartime also. Take some neonical, uh, in what way can it be proved that my phosphine is basic? See if my phosphine is basic, it can react with uh, acid. Right? If it is basic, it reacts with acid to form salt, acid-based reaction. So we see my pH 3, it will react with HCl, it will form pH 4 Cl. If, it, if pH 3 it reacts with my HBr, it will form pH 4 Br. When it pH 3 will react with my HI, all these are acids, right, to form pH 4 I. And why it acts as acid? Because of the lone pair of electrons. If you see on this phosphorus, mm -hmm. because of the lone pair of electrons on this phosphorus, it acts as Lewis space due to lone pair of electron on phosphorus. Same is case with ammonia also. In ammonia also, we have seen that this nitrogen has a lone pair of electron, so it acts as Lewis space. Same thing here. The next Question is bond angle of pH 4 plus is greater than pH 3. What? So let's see pH 3. It's pH 3, the phosphorus has lone pair of electron, pH 4 plus. There is a plus charge, there is no lone pair of electron. Right? So in this case, if you see the lone pair of electron is there. On phosphorus, there is no lone pair of electron in this phosphorus. Right? Thus it has a shape of tetrahedron and the angle is 109.5. This bond angle is more actually. Why? Because there is no lone pair of electron. This lone pair of electron is there, it pushes this hydrogen down. Thus the angle is reduced. Here there is no one to push this hydrogen down. So the bond angle is more, that is 109.5 degree. The question is what happens when uh, white phosphorus is heated in concentrated sodium hydroxide solution in an inert atmosphere of carbon dioxide. So we have seen this reaction actually, in this we have white phosphorus, we react with sodium hydroxide and in some water in this inner atmosphere of carbon dioxide we get PS3 
and we get NaH2PO2 and this is nothing but sodium hypophosphite sodium hypophosphite this is the reaction thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again